Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a rough year. Thank God 2020 is over. Okay, well, I don't have like a basic bitch candle, so I have like an atmospheric lamp in the scent Unfulfilled Promises and Broken Dreams. Link below, use code Lily for 10% off. January 1st is literally, it's literally my time to shine, bitch. I am the queen of saying new month, new me. And this is like the ultimate new month, new me. So today we're gonna be talking about my January TBR. I don't know if anyone actually gives a fuck about these kind of videos or if anyone wants to see TBR videos from me, but until people tell me to stop, <laughs> I'm gonna make them. So I really like TBRs. I'm the kind of person who I'm the absolute opposite of a mood reader. Like to set myself a list and then like proceed through the list. I really don't like just randomly deciding what I'm gonna read next. One of my resolutions is to upload consistently. So here I am. I'm gonna try my best to get through this video regardless because so many times in the past last year, I filmed a video and abandoned it and like it never ended Ended up getting posted. I completed a Goodreads challenge for the first time ever in my life. I read 20 books in 2020 and what can I say? The fame and the confidence has gone to my head. I set my Goodreads challenge at 50 books this year. My TBR for January is like a third of my entire Goodreads challenge for last year. Um, I'm gonna try and do that in one month. While I'm in a really good reading mood, I'm gonna try my absolute best to push myself as much as I can for January. I've got six books that I'm planning to read for January. January. To reach 50 books, I have to at least read one book a week. Four at least, and then six is just like to push myself. We'll start with the book I'm reading now, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. This book was that bitch in 2016, 2017. It's peak of popularity, I guess. I don't intend to read the whole trilogy. I just want to read the first book to kind of like see for myself. I'm currently reading it. I'm on 20% right now. It's going really fast. Like I'm surprised. I think probably because there's photos in the book. I feel like Everyone knows what this book is about, but it's about this kid called Jacob. His grandpa tells him stories about his childhood at this home and how they're all these like unique, special kids that used to live there. Jacob believed all the stories when he was little. He grew up and he was like, okay, the stories are bullshit. The grandpa dies in the beginning of the book. It's not a spoiler. It kind of takes off from there. Like he realizes that maybe the stories weren't fake after all. I haven't read much of it. I've only read 20%, but it's, it's not bad so far. The next book I want to read in January is Why We Sleep. This one, if you watched my last video, my 2021 goals, aside from uploading consistently, my next biggest goal was to first of all, read non-fictions, but second of all, fix my sleep schedule. My sleep Sleep is horrendous. I've always had a feral ass sleep schedule. I've officially decided I'm fucking over it. I'm trying to get my life on track this year. One of the biggest things that's gonna help me is fixing my sleep schedule. So heaps of people recommended me this book actually, but I've had this on my list. Why We Sleep by... Oh my God, what's his name? Matthew something. He is a neuroscientist and he's also a sleep expert. The book just goes into like the benefits of sleep, obviously. It just like talks about how sleep is so crucial for things like memory, mood, hormone regulation, fighting off diseases, focus, memory. Did I say memory? <laughs> Me just proving the point of this book. Hopefully this book just like magically solves my problems. You know what I mean? One of my goals is to read more nonfiction and like more self-help slash self-development type books. So I'm trying to like cram a bunch of them into January when I'm like the most motivated to change my life in hopes that that will do something. I'm willing to give everything a go, okay? I'm actually sick of being myself. <laughs> so the next one is also another nonfiction, Getting Things Done, The Art of Stress-Free Productivity by David Allen. It's basically just a book on time management um, and God knows I need that. The next book I want to read in January is The Power of Habit. Literally, I know, right? Like literally me being like New Year, New Me and then reading all these like basic New Year, New Me books. I have a feeling because they're like, they're nonfiction self-help books and I know I can read nonfiction self-help books really fast. If there was ever a time to capitalize on me being in the mood to read, like these would be the books. So this is another one that is just wildly famous. I'm going to read it and see if it fixes my life. Okay, the last two are trash YA. You're going to be so excited. The last two are Assassin's Blade and Crown of Midnight. I read Throne of Glass. I stand by everything I said. Like, it is a trash book, but everyone says that the, the first book, The Throne of Glass, is trash. You have to read more of the series before it actually becomes like a good series to read, allegedly. So I'm actually gonna give it a go. This book series is just talked about all the fucking time. And like, honestly, the FOMO that I have, astronomically, like illegal levels of FOMO I'm experiencing. So I just wanna read it. Like, I've forced myself to read that many shit books already that like, 
Even if I don't like this series, I literally read Anna and the fucking French Kiss twice in my life. I've already made myself suffer enough through other like books that I actually didn't like. Throne of Glass wasn't even a book that made me want to like curl up into a ball and like stop existing. So I'm going to read Assassin's Blade. This is like a prequel and then Crown of Midnight is the next book in the series. That's everything that I want to read in January. Wish me luck. Let me know what your TBR- Like literally, bitches, I want to see in my fucking comment section your TBRs for January. Anyways, that's my TBR. Wish me luck because I'm going to need it.